Okay, hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna talk about substitutes and complements in consumption and production. And then I'll show the relative changes for the respective curves, be it demand or supply. Okay, so substitutes in consumption, these are two goods that can be used in place of each other. So you can think of like Coke or Pepsi. My example is like hammer gel or goo gel, which is uh, fuel uh, little gel packs to consume during uh, ultra marathons and ultra, ultra races. Uh, so you could use one or the other. Substitutes in production are alternatives producers can make using the same inputs. So I've got an example like a journalist. They can make, they could write an article or they could write a book using largely the same inputs. Or like Apple could make iPods or iPads or iPhones using largely the same components. Those would be substitutes in production on the producer side. Complements in consumption are two goods that are used together. So socks and sandals, you use those together? What about hats and gloves? Uh, hats and gloves are used together on cold day. Uh, Complements in production are goods made at the same time. So usually it's like a waste product that comes along with whatever it is that you mean to be making. My example here would be like turkey and gravy. So think about Thanksgiving. So you cook the turkey and then there's the meat juices that are used to make gravy that's consumed alongside with turkey or whatever else is served for Thanksgiving. Here's some pictures. So substitutes in consumption are two goods that can be used in place of each other. So my example here would be Coke and Pepsi. Suppose the price of Pepsi rises. Now, from the perspective of Pepsi, that's a change in price. We can only get a change in quantity. So for Pepsi, in the market for Pepsi, we'll get an increase in price. That is going to be a decrease in quantity demanded. What about from the perspective of Coke? Well, the change of price happened to Pepsi relative to Coke. That's, the change, that's an increase in the price of a substitute. So the demand for Coke is going to increase. So then I'm gonna show in the market for Coke, we'll get a rightward shift of demand. So we get an increase in demand for Coke. Okay. Substitutes in production are alternatives producers can use making largely the same inputs. So my example here would be the price of iPhones rises, the supply of iPods decreases. So what's going on here? Well, relative to iPhones, as the price of iPhones rises from the perspective of iPhones for the market for iPhones, I should have labeled, sorry, this should say market for iPhones, we'd expect an increase in the quantity supplied of iPhones because of the increase in price of iPhones. So when price changes, you can only get a change in quantity. What about for the perspective of iPods? Well, from the perspective of iPods, if the price of iPhones rises, the supply of iPods should decrease. Why? Well, Apple's gonna take those same components and they're gonna make iPhones instead. So relative to the production of iPods, this was a change in the price of a related production opportunity. So from the perspective of iPhones, the price of iPhones rises, so the quantity supplied of iPhones is increasing, but from the perspective of iPods, we get a leftward shift at decrease in supply. Now what about complements? For complements and consumption, those are two goods used together. So it'd be like price of gloves falls, the demand for hats increases. From the perspective of gloves, or the market for gloves, we get an increase in quantity demanded. At a lower price, you'll buy more. So an increase in quantity demanded from the perspective of gloves. If price changes, only quantity can change. What about from the perspective of hats? Well, now this is the price of a related good, a good that's used together. We're gonna to get an increase in demand for, for hats that I'm gonna wear alongside with my gloves. It's an inside of increase in demand. Okay, or I really wanted to use shoes and sandals, but I probably shouldn't, most people don't like that. So, all right, complements in production are, unless, except, so most people in, so if you wear shoes and sandals, uh, socks and, if you wear socks and sandals, right? Socks and sandals in the United States, people think that's unusual. In Europe, I have understood it to be different. Um, okay, complements in production are goods made at the same time. So the price of gravy rises, then the su supply of turkey might increase. So gravy is made as a byproduct of making turkey. So suppose the price of gravy rises. In the market of, for gravy, we get an increase in the quantity supplied of gravy. Price increase, only quantity can change, not, not supply, right? However, that's from the perspective of gravy, but for the related market, if the price of gravy rises, we want to increase my quantity supplied of gravy, I'm going to increase my supply of turkey because I'm going to make more gravy, right? So. For the relative to the market for turkey, we'll get an increase in supply. 
So if the price of gravy rises, their complement in production, we get an increase in quantity supplied of gravy because in the change of the price of one good, you could only increase the quantity or decrease the quantity of that good, not the supply or demand. And over here, for the related good, this price increases as the price of a related good changing. So we'll get an increase in the supply, we'll get a change in supply for Turkey. Right, so to kind of wrap this up, kind of think about what's going on here. When you get a change in price, for the good that that price change has affected, you can only get a change in quantity, be it either a change in quantity demanded or a change in quantity supplied. You have to identify what side of the market we're talking about. From the perspective of related goods, that's where this price change would be a shifter. So the change in the price of a, a related good can be a supply or demand shifter according to whether they're substitutes or complements in production or consumption. So, all right. Very good. Hope this helps.